Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to talk about the Mezco 112 Collective PX exclusive Hellboy from the 2019 movie. And yeah, uh, if you've seen the previous Hellboy video, you kind of already know what you're getting into. But like always, I'm pretty sure you're here because you don't know who the hell I am. So let's go over everything all over again like it's your first time. Um, <laughs> the Hellboy, I listen, I, I may have not have liked that movie, but this toy is dope as hell. It's photogenic as hell. I'm trying really hard to say the F word, but man, I really, really like this figure. And the PX exclusive pretty much sets it over the top for me as one of the most photogenic Mezcos that I have. And it was crazy because I really, really like this toy, even though I did not like the movie. So it, it, it says a lot right there and speaks for the volume of the design of what it is. Plus, even if you didn't like it or you did like it, the only way to get this version is because Mezco is the only one doing it. So that says a lot right there. But yeah, let's jump to it. Let's talk about it. I think the sculpt on this is absolutely amazing. Like, look at that. That looks really good. Um, and I've said it before and I said it again, it, it does. But what sets us over the top is going to be the PX exclusive add-on stuff. And we're going to talk about that in a second. So right now we're going to talk about our articulation and look. We have our scars here over the body. We have articulation with our head. So even with our soft plastic parts here, we can tilt all the way around on both sides. We can look up, we can look down, and the head can just plop down and sit very nicely, very neutrally. The horns up top are removable, we'll get to that later. And we can hit a T-pose very easily on both sides of the arm. There is no bicep swivel, but you do get a forearm rotation, and it is singular jointed. That is one drawback I didn't like about it, but it actually really works pretty well for this figure. I don't think Hellboy does anything extra crazy outside of holding his gun up a certain way, and it can be achieved with a single joint. Now, if you want to be extracurricular and awesome, you can have a choice of getting the 1000 Toys version, which is double jointed, and it gets insanely articulate. But yeah, so we have our upper torso. It has a nice, decent ab crunch. It doesn't really show too well here, but it will show in certain movements. We can actually tilt side to side as well. Both the lower half will help you with that, but <clears throat> it's all gonna be up here. So rotating left and right, gonna be a very simple. This is one of those figures where uh, Hellboy doing certain things really don't, uh, like the super articulated stuff can actually be handled pretty well around it. Like you're not gonna be able to get the thousand toy stuff, but it still look pretty good. A great example is going to be stuff like punching. Even with the Hand of Doom, as we rotate that in, and we rotate this punch, and as seen in another video that I did this, when you want to throw an uppercut or something like that, as you can see here, it'll look pretty good. <clears throat> so if you want to show the force of motion, we make sure the rest of the body match, and boom, uppercut. If you want to do something like jumping at an opponent, you want to tilt back a little bit, Make sure the legs match the body language. Rotate a little. Yeah. So again, while you may not have a bunch of, oh, let's fix that fist. That has to look right. There we go. So while you may not have like a bunch of articulation, you can still make this guy look pretty good. And even here with the belt, the belt is a little bit movable. So it allows you to have some rotation right around. I'm gonna try to center that piece a little bit. You have your holster here as well too. I really like the way this belt is done. I really wish I can get more of these. This belt is dope as hell. Our pants movement, we can have our legs go all the way up. So that means if you ever wanna have them sit anything or a special made bike, it's totally possible. I totally recommend you shift the belt over a little. So that way you can lift your legs up as high as possible. The legs are double jointed. So you have that and you get boot swivel, and you get some pretty decent ankle pivot going inward, as you can see there. It'll look a little uneven, but it does twist in. You can go forward just a little bit. But you, oh, actually, you can go backwards. I, before, I couldn't go backwards, that's weird. So yeah, you actually get a nice, decent range of movement. Not as much as I would like as a person who likes to do a lot of articulation, but enough that I know that it will look good in photos. So, let's stand this guy straight up. Oh, by the way, bendy tail. That's one thing I forgot. <laughs> so we have our bendy tail. And with the bendy tail, you have to be careful because it'll drag the, the pants down. That's why you can't get a certain amount of articulation. 
So you got to be careful with that. But <clears throat> it doesn't get, like I said, too much in the way. I almost forgot about the tail completely. I don't know how I did that, but I did. But yeah. So, oh, by the way, popping this hand off, you do get a natural ball joint that actually rotates around too. But you got to be careful. Heat it up if it gets too tight. But it's very much movable. So let's stand Hellboy straight up. Fix and posture himself a little bit. You know, get him all nice and kept. <clears throat> so now that Hellboy's looking good, we can talk about some of his accessories. And this is where it gets pretty cool. It's going to differ just a bit from that of his uh, counterpart. So let's jump to it. So let's talk about it. First up, we're going to go over the fact that we get Excalibur. Excalibur looks really good. It's going to be able to fit into a hand. You have a dedicated hand for that. But more importantly, Excalibur has a flame effect. Ooh. And I really like this because when you want a cool flaming sword, uh, this is definitely a very nice touch. This swings very well. And it actually latches on pretty well too. So that way, even if I drop it, it doesn't come out yet. You just have to physically lift it off. So you do get a dedicated sword holding hand. There we go. Black fingernails too, good touch. You will get a trigger hand. Your trigger hand is going to hold your gun. And this came with the previous one as well too, but it just looks really good. And it still holsters here, perfectly fine. And it does hold bullet effects. So I happen to have a handy bullet effect here. In case you didn't know, it does holster bullet effects. So you can shoot. You get a lucky shoehorn because luck is very important. You will get an open grabbing hand. And for his right hand, you will also get a sword holding hand, which I thought was dope. I'm glad they actually included that. So you technically can hold the sword and it just opens right up. It's soft plastic, so it can open right up. I do like that that was included. And you'll get an open action hand for palming the bad guy's foreheads. But most importantly, I think this is one of the coolest new additions. It's going to be the fact that you will get the horned head. This is probably one of my favorite features. You know? So, <clears throat> you can actually use these horns on the other heads as well, too. But I really like it on this head. And this head specifically comes with another part. And I took it out purposely so I could show you guys. Here, you can pop it out. And what we do is we have our crown that we pop right in. So this looks utterly fantastic. Actually, let's take it and pop it on the body. Ooh, there I go being extra. There we go. Let's pop this in. And mine seems to not be holding because I'm not pushing it all the way in. But I want to make sure it does. And this looks fantastic. Like I'm actually going to lift up just a little bit. There we go. Change the focus. Boom. That looks fantastic, like for real. Ah, oh, this looks dope. So again, if you were able to get this, I know that you are gonna love this for real. And just to talk about it for a second, like I said, you can swap the horns out. So let's take this off ever so gently. We can actually pop our horns out, right? We can take our default head, take these out, and pop these in right now. Got the wrong side. So even if you wanted to like do a bunch of other stuff like pictures with it and try something different. There we go. You can actually get a technically a different look right out of Hellboy. Like this is dope. I don't see how this could <laughs> not benefit you in cool ways as you sit here and try to do like cool. Oh, there it is. It makes it look much better. This looks fantastic. So yeah. And then on top of that, even if you didn't like the shirtless look, what they do is, I'm gonna pop these back in because I don't wanna lose any small parts. So you still get a jacket and you get a BPRD shirt. So you have lots of different visual options for your PX Hellboy. 
So let's talk about those. So you still get your jacket and you get a BPRD tank top. The Bureau of Paranormal Activity and Research and Defense. Yeah. BPRD. And then you still get your jacket. The jacket is always a nice touch. For you to do that, all you have to do is pop this arm off. And this is actually just, you heat this up, just pop it off. I didn't heat mine up. So let's test and see. Whoop, still comes out. No problem. See? So if you want to pop your shirt on, just pop your tank top on, pop your jacket on. You have a lot of cool stuff. I'm not going to do that because obviously you've seen it a million times. And you'll also see it in the pictures. So you get to see it that way. I'm going to take the time to clean up. Then we're going to get into some size comparisons. So give me a second, y'all. All right, guys, now it's time for the size comparisons. I put a shirt on them so nobody could report him for nudity. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to get really fun because Hellboy does the paranormal stuff, the supernatural. But also, he's cool as hell in just normal situations where he's just punching out a masked luchador. Like, so I, I really, really like the Hellboy stuff. I love the comics. Uh, I really wish Hellboy didn't end. Oh, excuse me. But, yeah, it is what it is, right? So, first up, let's do him up against his normal counterpart. Who I left his trench coat on so it helps show the difference pretty much you get the same body you're going to get the same uh default head but you're going to get obviously the new t-shirt you're gonna get the new head sculpt the flaming excalibur things like that these guys look really good together and technically i like the fact that you have two different looks for him you could pop the jacket on get a whole nother different one you see what you're getting so let's take this guy away next up i'm gonna do the 1000 toys hellboy who I also have multiple versions of. So I have like his horned version, things like that. So this is the comic book Hellboy. And again, completely different looks for what you want to achieve and both are equally fun. One has realistic human proportions. One is definitely a Manola period design. Next up, I feel like this one actually works out pretty well. If you have him team up with something like a Mezco blade. So here is Mezco blade. I feel like these two would definitely team up on at least a couple of vampire missions. So yeah, here we have a uh, different type of body. We have cosplay me on a Gomez body. So you can see the different sizes of stuff that we're getting into. Let's take these two guys away. Now we're gonna do stuff like, uh, this way gets really fun. So we have Storm Collectible Scorpion, in case you wanna do a, one of those Netherrealm crossovers. Then we have a Mezco Batman. This one has a custom head by Old Boy, also a customized chest plate. Then we want to do, oh, here is a Mythic Legions Vampire with a custom head as well. So again, you have lots of different combinations that you could kind of cross over into with different realms here. It's very enjoyable. I really like having this kind of stuff happen. I love crossovers. Here we are with a Lightning Collection Gold Ranger. Here we are with a Marvel Legends Moon Knight. Another very good combination here. Well, not the Gold Ranger, but at least Moon Knight. Crazy Moon Knight Mark Spector with Hellboy. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Take these two away. Oh, here's a good one. Here is a NECA Evil Dead Demon Spawn. Very good as they're... Uh, <clears throat> these can be very good fodder for beating up on. Mine's not going to stand properly right now, so I'm going to hold them up. Then we have, oh, let's do your, your main man, Little Scrapper, Doc Nocturnal. He likes to get down with the get down. And I feel like these two have a very, these guys have a lot in common. So here we are. Then we have an Articulated Icons Ninja. Because who knows, maybe you'll fight a Demon Ninja one day. Right? And Oh, why are you not standing there straight? What's going on with that? Let's try to fix you up. So here's an articulated icons ninja. We have SH figure arts coming right a cougar. And a 1000 toys synthetic human. So we got all the little guys at the end looking pretty cool. But yeah, man, this has been hella fun. I hope you guys really do enjoy the pictures. I hope that you guys really enjoy all the cool things that he got going on with the pics and stuff. Please, if you found this informative and you enjoyed it, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. I hate saying that, I really do. But we need it. We're trying to get to that 100K. And if I'm gonna be on track with this and really try, I gotta remind you guys. So thank you for the, doing that little bit. It does mean a lot. Um, and yeah, as always guys, please be good, do good.
drink your water. Later.